Good morning, Mount Olive. I'm Pastor Bender, and I'm blessed again. Yes, you've made the right connection with me, and we are glad to have you here with us today. I want to call your attention to the Philippian book of the Bible, Philippians 4 and 13. That's Philippians 4 and 13. In Philippians 4 and 13, you'll find these words. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. I can. I think I ought to say it again. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. For a few precious moments, I want to preach to you today. Change me. Oh God, change me, oh God. Do I need to say it again? Amen. Change me, oh God. Change me to make me someone or uh, uh, something different. That's what it means. To alter or uh, to modify. Yeah. Change means to make someone or something different to alter or modify. Some words that mean the same as change is transform, yes, and convert, and replace. God tells us to repent if we miss the mark. Repent means to be heartily sorry for breaking God's law. We all make mistakes. Amen. And we need to change our minds and become more of God's children. Isn't it a blessing today? Point one. Why we don't like change. I need to say that again. Why we don't like change. Change threatens our traditions. It takes us out of our comfort zone. Some people would rather suffer than give up their tradition. Change doesn't give, doesn't come easy. Change is difficult because one, we are afraid of the unknown. Two, change takes time and effort. Three, we worry about what others think. Four, we are afraid of failure. Lastly, we lack motivation and purpose. The first step for change is prayer. Every now and then you ought to pray. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, as I prepare my heart and mind for change, my behavior helps me to allow. The first step for change is prayer. Say, Lord, as I prepare my heart and mind for change, my behavior helps me to allow you to rule in my life. Thank you for being there for me. In the name of Jesus, amen.
Revelations 3.22 says, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to his church. I need to say that again. Revelations 3.22 says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to his church. Point two, why we need to change. There's a good reason why we need to change. The world is set for a great revival. Revivals bring blessings and controversies. It brings about changes in our lives. Yes, it, sh it shakes us from complacency and spiritual slumber. Yes, it attacks our empty values and our powerlessness, our powerlessness creed. A revival will bring a change. Proverbs 20 and 12 tells us the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. We need an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We need that today. That will bring overflow. Mm-hmm the Holy Banks of Prejudice and Strife. The world is looking for an answer to their problems of violence, crime, civil unrest, economic problems, and killings. Final point of the message today is, why should we change? That's a good question. You got an answer? Final point of the message, why should we change? Can we change the pattern of disobedience into a life of submission to his will, we must begin to hear and obey his voice only. Yes. The answer is yes. We can change if we confess our sins and ask God to forgive you, he will do it. If we change, God will, one, be our protector, Read Psalms 91, 15. Secondly, he will give you peace. Psalms 23. Read when you get home. Give us wisdom. Psalms 32 and 8. Four, we can have an intimate relationship with with him, read John 15, 15. He will bless us, Isaiah 30, 18. These are only a few reasons why we should change. Thank God for the change. John 14, 
and 6 tells us about Jesus and says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, yet, sir, uh, if uh, there is no man cometh unto me through the Father, but by me, you need to make some changes, and I need to make some changes. But remember, Malachi 3 and 1 says, I am the Lord, I change not, so God don't change. We need to change. Have I got any witnesses here? Yes. God never leaves himself without a witness. Yes. Are y'all praying with me? Amen. Chandler Man told us to change, change me, oh Lord, and make me more like thee. Ain't God all right? Oh, yes. Wash me whiter than snow, oh Lord. Make me more like you in times like these. I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pitied my every own, my every groan. If you want peace, you got to make a change. Yes. If you want joy, yes. you got to make a change. Mm -hmm. Let God change you. He knows what to do. Yes. And he'll make everything the way it should be. If you want to be happy mm -hmm. and want to have happiness, if you want to be more like him, and if you want him to make you over, you got to make a change. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. He's all right. Yes, he is. And if you want to walk right, mm -hmm. you got to make a change. If you want to talk right, make a change. If you want to live right, make a change. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm so glad God is omnipotent. He got all power mm -hmm. in his hands. He got joy, y'all, in his hands. He can bless you and no one else can. He's omnipotent. He got it all in his hands. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And if you want change, let God change you. He will. Yeah, yeah. He will make everything all right. The door is open. If that's someone here today out of the ark of safety, the Lord said, come. Jesus said, come. The Holy Spirit said, come. Whosoever will, let him come. While the blood is still running warm in your veins, while you still have the right exercise of your mind and the movement of your phalanges, if I were you today, I'd come on to Jesus. For truly today is the day of salvation, and tomorrow belongs to eternity.